And now that I'm leaving the Floridita, I'm walking down to go to the Bonajito del Medio and ask for my mojito. I'll tell you a little story about the mojito. Many years ago, the first time, I think it was in 1997, it was my very first time that I went to Havana in Cuba. And I was blown away by this magical country. And um, I went to the Bonajito del Medio, and the people who used to take me around to Havana introduced me to the bartender there at the Bonajito del Medio and said, he is, this is Salvatore Calabrese, known as the Maestro, and he is an excellent bartender. I wish he didn't say that to, to the bartender because he didn't do no more. He invited me to go behind the bar and make the mojito. Actually, it was a challenge to see who would make more mojito in one go. Oh. So we lay out the glass, 10 glasses at a time. He had his, I had mine. Guys, I never knew. I am pretty fast, but he was like a machine. He blew me away. The time I'd done two, he did all 10. By that time, I just wouldn't run away. But his mojito were incredible. It's a very, very simple drink to do. Remember, use a good mint. Um, in Cuba, they call it a herba buena, okay? That means good herbs. And remember, be respectful with this because mint is a very delicate herbs. So many of you or many bartenders, what they do, they pick up the mint, they put it in a glass and then muddle the hell out of that. So you don't do nothing else that bruise the mint. What, what you actually do, you wash the mint, get quite a few leaves on it. Put a couple teaspoons of sugar on top. Now, put a little bit of lemon juice. The lemon juice usually is about 20 milliliters of fresh lemon juice, or lime juice, I should say, sorry. Squeeze of a lime, basically. Some bartender like just to bring, to, to cut the lime in pieces and just put them in a glass. But I think, you know, if you do that, and then you muddle, you pick up the bitter essence and the oil essence of the lime, which you really don't want to do that. Very simple. Now, this is a spoon that I designed. It's called the julep spoon. It's got a little heavy base, like a, you know, like a, like a bowl. Basically, I let the spoon just rolling around and extract the flavor. And don't kill the beautiful mint, the freshness of the mint. Oh, I can just smell it. It just comes out. Just gently, and I roll it. By rolling, it's not breaking the, the mint, but it releases the the essence of the mint. It's almost like you pick up a little mint and you put it in the middle of your hand and you just go slap it. Oh, a gentle slap. Now I'm going to put a 50 milliliter of Havana rum or rum. You can use a white rum or dark rum if you prefer, but I prefer the lighter rum. That's the way it should be done. But then you are home. If you don't have it, use any rum that you want. <clears throat> I'm putting ice. And now I'm going to put... You can put soda water if you like. I prefer sparkling water. San Pellegrino is a good water to choose, but any good sparkling water, or again, soda water will do as well. Now, with a lifting motion, you pick up the knee, you lift it into the glass. Look at that.
again to make sure that all the shoulders dissolve. There we go, there is no sugar left. Wedge your lamb inside. Salute. Oh God. A good day to have a good drink to have in the middle of the day, really. Wow. Now that I took you to my memory lane trip to Cuba, I wish you enjoyed it. Again, very simple drink to make at home. You don't need the many ingredients. If you don't have a lime, you can use lemon, if you prefer. Use whatever choose, pre preference and rum that you have. But I have to be honest with you, with a drink like this in my hand and with a deep daiquiri face in me, I really truly enjoyed making this drink. I hope you will have a good day and keep safe. God bless you. Salute.